In 2021, a bizarre and alarming incident occurred at Tesla's Austin, Texas Gigafactory. An engineer, while programming a manufacturing robot, was attacked by the machine. The robot, which was supposed to be disabled, remained operational and inadvertently pinned the engineer, inflicting injuries with its metal claws. This unexpected event led to the engineer falling down a chute, leaving a trail of blood. Before we get crazy about AI taking over, I think it's important to note that this was not an AI robot gone rogue, but a programming error leading to a serious accident. But more disturbing than the isolated robot incident are the reported injury rates at Tesla factories. According to The Independent, the frequency of severe injuries in auto factories in the US is already alarming, with one out of every 38 workers suffering significant injuries. Shockingly, Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas reports even worse figures, with one out of every 21 workers experiencing severe injuries. And of course, there's also the disturbing fact that this 2021 incident surfaced just now. With that said, there are also concerns that these already high injury rates might be underreported. Reports suggest that not all injuries or even deaths, like one due to heat stroke, are adequately documented. On another Tesla-related news, we now have Tesla's much-anticipated Cybertruck and its first reported road incident. Is this bulletproof tank of a truck safe for other cars and pedestrians on the road? Let's find out. A few days ago, a 2023 Tesla Cybertruck was involved in a two-vehicle accident on SR35 Skyline Boulevard near Palo Alto. The incident, confirmed by the California Highway Patrol, occurred around 2.05 p.m. local time. A 2009 Toyota Corolla, driven by a 17-year-old, reportedly veered off the road, hit an embankment, and then collided with a Cybertruck. These images from Reddit user Badia show the aftermath of the incident. As you can see, there's significant damage to the Toyota Corolla. I mean, come on, it hit a 3-ton truck that's almost entirely made of bulletproof steel. And as you can expect, the visible parts of the Cybertruck seem less affected, despite the deployment of airbags. The Cybertruck was carrying three people at the time of the collision. Fortunately, there were no major injuries reported. The Cybertruck driver sustained minor injuries but declined medical transportation. This is an accident caused by the Corolla, but I think it's also important to note that the Tesla was not operating in autonomous mode at the time of the accident, which occurred under cloudy and wet conditions. So this is not one of those cases where the autopilot messed up. This was a big deal since people are already questioning the Cybertruck's design and its impact on road safety, both for its occupants and other road users. While the lack of severe damage to the Cybertruck might be seen as a testament to its build quality, the implications for pedestrian safety and interactions with other vehicles are yet to be understood. Next up, Microsoft made waves this week as they recently introduced their AI-driven co-pilot app for Android users, which is now available on the Google Play Store. This app, which has been under the radar for about a week, brings AI-powered capabilities directly to Android devices. It's a game-changer for those who rely on Microsoft's ecosystem, offering features akin to ChatGPT, including chatbot functions, doll e 3 image generation, in assistance in drafting emails and documents. What's more, it provides free access to the advanced GPT-4 model, a feature usually behind a paywall in ChatGPT. While iOS users might have to wait a bit longer for their version, Android users can now enjoy this standalone co-pilot experience. Moving on to hardware, Microsoft is gearing up to revamp its Surface lineup with new AI-enhanced features. The upcoming Surface Pro 10 and Surface Laptop 6 are rumored to include a next-gen neural processing unit, which will be a significant upgrade, especially for AI tasks. These devices will offer both Intel and ARM-based options, with the ARM version powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon X chips. This means we can expect enhanced performance, battery life, and security, rivaling Apple Silicon offerings. These innovative Surface devices are slated for release next year. Moreover, Microsoft might be planning an even more significant design overhaul for the Surface Pro lineup in 2025, along with updates for the Surface Laptop Studio. That's all for our tech news update. And wow, it's been a quiet week for the rest of the tech world, but Tesla and Microsoft takes the stage this week. 
Anyway, what do you think about Tesla's safety practices? Are you stoked for Microsoft's Copilot and upcoming laptops? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing for more tech reviews and tech news just like this one. But until then, this is our last tech news for 2023. So, Happy New Year in advance. This is Marty, and I'll see you in the next video.